Alright guys, now I'm going to show you, <clears throat> now I've just bought uh, a domain name titled idwithjames.com that I'm using for my own sort of exclusive training site. Um, so I just bought that and I want to show you the process now of how to forward that domain that you've just bought to your hosting account that you just bought with HostGator. Okay, so after you've bought it you've purchased it they're showing you an order summary go up here and left click my account and what you want to do is you'll see your name right there and we'll left click this uh, button by domains and you should see you will see that domain right here and we're going to go over here and click launch to go to that domain's control panel now right here very 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 um, important and this is how the whole process works of forwarding a domain um, uh, you'll see this is where people get confused they see right here forwarding off don't don't mess with no, no don't mess with <laughs> with any of this okay what you're going to do is you're forwarding the name servers to HostGator okay so right here where it says find this down here it says name servers we're going to left click set name servers and we're going to do this right here we're going to click this button I have Pacific name servers for my domains okay now you'll have this already filled in name server one name server two we've got to replace these two with our host gator name servers and now I'm going to show you how to do that okay so what you'll do if you remember uh, we went to host gator and we signed up for a baby plan they send you an email with your login information if you do not have that email you can go to contact support or go to the haste excuse me the hostgator site and just go to live chat and they'll send you a way to log in to your what they call a C panel where your name servers are located so I'm going to show you what my uh, C panel looks like in my in my hostgator account so this is what it should look like when you're in there okay and we'll go down to the bottom left and we'll see it right down here okay bottom left all the way down okay don't worry about anything right now but just this one specific part we've got these two name servers we've got NS801 these two things right here is what we're looking for okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna left click and highlight that entire name server right there just that one I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to click back to where my uh, GoDaddy account was. I'm going to left click, drag that out, and just delete that out, and just hit backspace. That's gone. Now I'm going to right click, hit paste, and I just pasted the HostGator name server. Okay. Now I'm just going to do the same thing with the second one. Go to your tab where the HostGator is open. We're going to left click, highlight, right click, copy, go back to where Go GoDaddy is. I'm going to, re I'm going to left click and drag, backspace, get that out of there, right click, paste. Okay, I'll set both those. We're just setting name server one and name server two. Okay, and then we're going to click OK. And it says your changes have been submitted. These changes usually take two hours. Be honest with you guys, it usually takes about five to ten minutes. May take two hours, um, but it's usually set instantly. Okay, so you just click OK. Now, this names the the name servers for this domain whatever you bought is set to HostGator okay and we may not see it yet not yet okay it's set 
is now set to HostGator. Okay. Now, I'm not to, so I won't confuse you anymore. I'm going to stop it right there. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, put in WordPress, and we'll get started with building our site. Okay. Just hang. You're doing great. Just hang in there. Okay.